Hey guys, Linda here. This is Mohawk Nation News. And this is called Straight Up. And I'm going to read it to you. Uh, this was put out today. What would you do if an old man sent pictures of his erect penis to your adolescent daughter, along with suggestive sexual invitations to have sex? It's like suggesting a father rape his daughter. Former Congressman Anthony Weiner, a wealthy politician running for mayor of New York City, is setting this example. Former, former New York State Governor Elliot Spitz, Spitzer, another old man, was caught soliciting a 22-year-old girl. He resigned, and he became a media star. Both committed crimes against women. The rulers are dismantling U.S. and Canada legally, socially, politically, commercially, ethically. Canada is being handed over to the U.S. Empire. Prime Minister Harper is taking apart everything so international bankers can access the resources. Inbred royalty is being displayed up front. The Royal Air Force and Queenie is pictured everywhere. Charles and Camilla may be installed as King and Queen of Canada. Heads up Canada and you may not like that. The working class continues to serve as the resource extractors. Anthony Weiner is a litmus test of a dying empire, of parasites that steal everything and produce nothing, of openly scamming everyone, and of decaying, of a decaying, rotting society. Thousands of years of ethics, decent norms, and intelligence is being trampled upon. Sexual voyeurism attacks women and children first, followed by the massacre of humanity. I actually agree with that statement very much. But Spitzer and Weiner's wives stood by their man. They forgive their husbands because they don't care about other people. Vanity, status, being a mayor or CEO's wife is, is more important. So they are part of the problem and just as guilty. Guilt and corruption start internally. The collaborators are shielded. Society without morals becomes uncaring about politics, Weiner tells us. I can be as decadent as I want. The rulers have promoted, I don't know if you guys can see this, the rulers have promoted the penis and pornography to represent power, war, and status. This decadent strata of society must be removed from the human race or we will all go down. This should be the last exploiting class to rule. In the old way, men pursued the perpetrator, snapped him up, tied him to a tree, and castrated him. The women got to whip him with a red willow in front of the people. Everybody has a choice. Our communities have the responsibility to take care of our women and children. The masses rely on the police, politicians, congressmen, many of whom are committing indecencies. If people don't confront Wiener, they agree with it. Weiner, Spitzer, former Clinton, and others helped open the door to the slime ball society. These sickly role models are promoted. Now other sickos can approach and, approach and attack young girls who refuse their advances. Our girls and boys must resist even if their parents are too busy in a system that makes these young girls vulnerable. A sting operation is going on in 74 U.S. cities for child prostitution. As Frank Zappa saying about the government design control, I am the tool of the government and industry too, for I am designed to rule and regulate you. I am the slime. I was trying to imitate Frank Zappa, but actually he made a very good point in this song. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave the link to this, and it is true. I mean, we are actually... the. I can't stand it. I, I, I can't look at some of the music videos and stuff that even some of you guys put up you, you know I know you're promoting the Illuminati and and how they're doing this but women shouldn't be dressing in some some of the ways they dress these days young women especially um, I mean because they're looked up as role models and and these men shouldn't these these men the politicians especially our servants if we really you know Put things in context because we we they're supposed to serve and protect us. Even the politicians are supposed to have our our well-being at heart. Are obviously a corrupt parasite, and it's time to stand up and tell them enough. And I'm serious. We've got to say enough. When they start attacking the children, 
It's over with. It's done. It's call. It's it's disgusting. And I, you know, if you have a different opinion and you think that's okay, then, you know, I'm I'm sorry. I really feel like this is a a very bad bad example that's been pushed on us for many years, and it's just coming totally to a, a you know a climax here. And I didn't mean that any sexual in a you know way. I meant that eventually something's got to give. Because the preying on young boys and girls is, is getting way out of hand. And um, we need to start standing up for them. For them. They're the future. And if we leave them this mess, do you can you imagine what they're going to live like if they even live long enough to even reproduce what their children would, would live in? So we got to start taking action, folks. I love you all. Peace, love, and truth, and Linda is out.